Okay. So, one of the things that I've put off for a lot longer than I'd really care to is the repair or replacement of this uh, worm uh, feed screw gear, whatever you want to call it, for the um, drive mechanism, the carriage drive on the Logan lathe. <clears throat> That was a mouthful and a half. Anyways, you can see here how badly worn um, it is on this outer end here. I th I'm assuming that this was the end that was getting the most wear. Um, it doesn't show as much wear on this end, but it's still pretty darn bad at any rate. Um, the other thing is... I don't think it'll show up on camera, but this key that's in this thing, it only extends <laughs> about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half down the shaft, and then it's, the rest of it's just sheared off. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this up in the lathe, in the Hindi. I'm going to take this aluminum pipe tube whatever the heck it is cut me off a chunk of it long enough to um, protect these threads or the teeth gear teeth worm teeth whatever you want to call it and uh, slice it so that it'll fit reasonably well in the in the chuck there and see if that will protect these while I grip this in the the chuck on the lathe and then I'm going to start just barely cleaning up the outside on both of these ends and clean off, you know, get me a square end on the on both ends of it. And then I'm going to try to take a boring bar um, and see if I can t remove this key. Now, the thing that's a little bit tricky for me is I think the new key that I'm going to try and put in, let me, let me back up just a minute. I'm assuming this part was made, this piece was made as one part with the key machined into this. Now, I've seen how you know, they can do this with um, a shaper or with a special brooch, you know, or what have you. Well, I'm definitely not going to try and go down that road. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is before I put before I make the sleeves that are going to go over this over these ends, I think I'm going to get me a nice either hole or series of holes or a slot drilled in or cut into this on both ends here and I'm going to weld on very carefully weld on a new key and since I'm sure that this key is significantly worn down from what it was originally the uh, the keyway the key slot on the lead screw of the lathe is 0 0.127 and this is about, oh geez, what was it, point, point zero 0.09 or something, point, yeah, it was, you know, quite a bit smaller. Anyways, to get this welded on correctly, I'm going to have to make a, uh, take a piece of material, a piece of stock, turn it to the diameter that fits the inside of this and then cut a keyway in it for this new key to sit in to keep to act as a jig to to weld this up and have it stay uh, straight in the bore of this thing so anyways that's how I'm thinking about tackling this and then these guys, I'm going to, once I figure out what size sleeves I'm going to put onto the ends of these, 
Then I'm going to bore both of these guys out to match or to give myself some clearance uh, the sleeves that I put on there. So the other pain in the butt sort of situation I have is the ch run out on the chuck on the Hindi is about eight thousandths of an inch. So that ain't going to help matters much. But considering how bad this is right now, I could cobble this thing together with a grinder and JB Weld and it'd be better just about. Now, granted that's sarcasm, but at any rate, I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to start getting this material prepped up and start getting this guy chucked up in the lathe and I'll bring you guys back when I've got that and when I'm ready to start uh, making some chips and we'll see how it turns out, okay? Okay. Now, I've got this thing uh, situated. I'll just slide that in there like that. And see how this works out or how it doesn't work out. I think I've got a decent grip on it there. <clears throat> Let's uh, fire up the lathe and see what, see how bad it runs out on us. It's definitely running out some, but I'm just going to kind of clean things up a little bit and uh, we'll see how it works out. I don't think the uh, part is running out so much. I think it's got different wall thicknesses around it. So, at any rate, I'm going to flip it and clean up the other end. And then I'm going to get pause the camera for a little bit while I change out tool bits. And then I'll clean up the surface. And then I'll pause again and go in with the boring bar. Trying to make sure I don't overly tighten this thing and and crush this, but we'll see.
that's what it looks like. It looks like my wall thickness is different. That what that appears to be why it looks like it's running out so badly. I think the inside is running a little bit truer, but anyways, I'm going to I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to change my tool, move this out, move the part out a little bit, and I'm going to start cleaning up this outer diameter of it a smidgen. So I'll bring you guys back in another couple minutes or so. All right. Got a different tool in, or cutter. And um, I've uh, slid the part out a little bit, so here goes nothing again. just cutting on one side so all right we're going to take this down until I get uh, get something that's semi concentric I guess I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to leave the carriage set up the way it is and I'm going to flip this thing in for end and see if I can just take it in one cut. That way maybe I'll have my outside diameters to be close to the same when this is all said and done. I won't hold my breath necessarily, but we'll see. Okay, here goes round two.
think I can probably work with that. <clears throat> I'm going to pop this out of the chuck real quick and I'll bring it up close to the camera. And then I'm going to pause the camera and get set up with the boring bar, or at least hopefully get set up with the boring bar. All bets are off with my tooling, but... At any rate, it's starting to look better, so... Um, actually, off camera, before I get the boring bar situated, I think I'm going to go ahead and deburr this and see how I am as far as wall thickness. Uh, see if I'm doing okay as far as concentricity. So, anyways, I'm going to pause it again here. Okay, it took a little bit of finagling to get this thing up to a decent height, but I think I'm there now, so. We'll uh, start running this thing here in a second. I did go ahead and measure, I measured the outside diameter and I measured my wall thickness. My outside diameter is pretty close from one side to the other. Uh, I can't remember what the measurement is right off the bat. Oh, just, just over an inch. I think like an inch three thousandths. And it's really close from one end to the other, one side to the other. My wall thickness is eight or ten thousandths difference from one area to another so again I'll I'll live with it I I'll just be happy to have this thing cleaned up and looking like something functional again so I got what I believe was the remains of a carbide cutter on this thing <clears throat> I had some serious clearance issues I had to grind the back side of this down a little bit so that the um, key would clear as I'm cutting it so we'll see here here goes nothing there again Kind of careful with this since it's an interrupted cut with carbide. my depth of cut a little bit here.
sounds like I'm starting to get into the wall a little bit. I don't have to remove the thing entirely. I can only just barely feel the tiniest of ridge in there. I'm going to dial in a little bit more depth of cut and probably call it good. I'm definitely getting some of the walls, so that should be plenty deep. pop this thing out and kind of show you up close on the camera and then I'm going to flip it around and do the other side and stop the video I think. I think that's going to be just fine. I don't know how well it'll show on the video but let's see let me get my glove off. <clears throat> All right, so right there was the key. So it's definitely doing what I needed it to do. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video there, get it uploaded, and I'm going to flip this around, do the rest of it off camera. So unless this thing blows up in the lathe, this will be the last you see of it until the next uh, entry of the video or the next video that comes out. So till later.